Good morning. I am J. Suresh Kumar, working as an assistant professor in KSR College of Awesome Science for Women, Thirachangudu. Today we are going to see a translation studies unit 3. Before entering into the topic, we are going to see the major topics in the unit 3. Specific problems of literary translation, structures and poetry and its translation, translating a prose and its difficulties, translating a dramatic text. Let's see one by one. Specific problems of literary translation and its structures. The translation theory mentions a four types of translation problems. Example, a linguistics, cultural, pragmatic and textual problems. Both four uh, has different contextual meanings. First of all, we are going to see a linguistic and cultural and pragmatic and text specific problems. The second is a literal translation. It was entirely different from the above mentioned four topics. Literal translation means a word by word translation or line by line translation or meaning by meaning translation where its emphasis on word for word translation distorts the sense and uh, syntax of the original meaning. Second, the poetry and its translation or we are all well known about the poetry. In the, if we see in the example, the Tamil and the Thirukkural has been translated into many languages. It is also a poetry translation example. Apart from the transforming a text, a poetry translation is also involves combination, a discourse and the action by between the human and textual actors in a physical and social setting. The phonemic translation, a literal translation, metrical translation, these are the another categories of translations. A prose translation, it was entirely different from the first poetry translation and rhymed translations. Every line we have uh, whether the starting point of the line or ending point of the line, the some words are often repeatedly are rhymed for uh, some literal devices specifically used by poets. These also translated under the topic of rhymed translation and blank verse translation and interlingual translations. A translating prose. A translating prose is often not easy because it was entirely prose has uh, many pages it covers uh, many pages more and more pages for example a novel it covers around uh, 300 pages an epic it covers uh, more than 1000 pages that means the translating post prose is uh, not uh, quite easy a translating a uh, literary prose is a translation of novels novellas short story folk tales uh, fairy tales and fables essays and biography and autobiography and hagiography and works of the criticism and science fiction. The barriers of the translating in prose are some are listed below. The stylistics and faithfulness and flexibility. The flexibility of author was uh, biggest difficulty in the prose. Subjective in the depthing of original message and impossibility in the finding exact equivalence. There is a lot of uh, impossibilities while uh, translating the prose in uh, exact equivalence. Second and last. Uh, translating a dramatic text. A translation of a dramatic text involves not only a linguistic transference from source language that means called, so, called as a short form in ASL and a target language TL but also transfers of the function of language in the utterances in relation to theoretical discourses. The features of the translation in drama are such as a translation drama involves activity of the characters, performity of the roles. There is a lot of uh, barriers while uh, translation in the drama because we need to fix the exact characters in different or foreign languages from source language to target language. The clarity of thoughts and brevity of speeches also need to maintain. Now first and last the time, place and action as well as, as the stage performance that also maintain from the target language to source language. This is also important point of the translating dramatic text. Thanks for watching the entire video.